What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today I'm going to be doing a Blu-ray unboxing. Um, and this is actually a movie that I really liked. Um, I've seen it maybe once or twice, I think, maybe. Um, I haven't seen it too many times, but I really liked it when I saw it. Um, and Robin Williams just died a little while ago, and this was actually on sale for about half off on Amazon. Um, so I was actually really excited to to finally go ahead and pick it up, um, just because I was I was sort of thinking about different Robin Williams movies lately and stuff like that, and this was one of my favorites. It's so weird and awesome, and um, I'm I'm glad that it was on sale and and now I was able to pick it up. So this is one hour photo, um, and let me go ahead and show you the slip cover. So it's got this kind of like matte slip cover on it. Um, and it sort of looks like, you know, a, like a photo negative or something like that. Um, it's really him in a dark room, so that's why he's kind of um, red tinted there. But the slipcover itself is sort of like a flat matte finish. Um, and I'll show you the side there. 20th Century Fox, one hour photo. And here is the back of the slipcover. So you can see all the features there. It's got commentary, some featurettes, rehearsals, um, title tests, all kinds of an interview from the Charlie Rose show. Um, so yeah, it's got it's actually got a bunch of pretty neat sounding uh, extra features on it. There's the bottom of that there. Here's the other side, on uh, the other end. So like I said, this is just a slip cover. Um, so let me slip this off. So, this is my least favorite kind of slip cover because it is basically identical to the actual uh, disc art. So if we flip it over, the backs are also identical. They have the same text, um, the same info on them, just formatted a little bit differently. Um, and the sides as well. Uh, same art there too. So probably this one's going to go in my uh, slipcover uh, storage bin. Um, I, I generally keep the slipcovers for things, but if the slipcover is pretty much identical to the main disc, which usually they are, um, then really I don't have much use for them. So I throw them in a bin in case maybe later I want them or something like that. So. Um, we'll go ahead and open up the disc itself here, and we'll go ahead and take a look uh, inside. Um, for anybody who's never seen this movie or heard about it, basically it's kind of like a um, psychological thriller sort of movie. Um, I would describe it as a psychological thriller. Um, Robin Williams plays a guy who works at sort of like a Walmart knockoff. Um, I think they call it Save Mart in this movie, but he works there as a um, photo developer at their one-hour photo center, their one-hour photo booth thing, uh, in the store, in the department store, and um, he's really super sort of creepy, um, and uh, there's obviously something, you know, mentally askew with him, and he... Um, he starts to develop kind of a, uh, an obsession with some of the people whose photos he develops. And that's what the movie's about, without really giving uh, anything else about the movie away. Um, that's essentially what it's about. He develops a real creepy obsession uh, with a, a particular family whose photos he um, often develops, and then the movie uh, goes on from there. But it's definitely not like a funny movie or anything like that. It's a very creepy, um, psychological sort of, not horror movie, but like a more like a thriller sort of um, movie. It's very creepy and weird. Um, so just a, another close-up of the back of the case, which is essentially identical to the slipcover. Um, it just has the addition of all this stuff here, um, the, the credits and all that. Um, it does, for those of you wondering, it comes with English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, um, and then it has Spanish uh, Dolby Digital 2.0, and it uh, looks like French Dolby Digital 5.1. So, there you go. 
Um, let's see, and then it has English, uh, SDH subs, as well as Spanish. Um, it's from 2002, I believe. Yeah, 2002. So, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. So inside here, uh, no insert. Made it with one of those um, uh, low plastic Blu-ray cases, which is a little bit more eco-friendly, I guess. And here is the art, so it's a matte finish here. And it's got actually some pretty cool art um, on it. Um, I guess, I don't know what that is exactly. Probably something to do with uh, photo processing, I think. Um, for a second it looked like it might be like a film strip moving in high speed, but it, it looks like it is a, it's actually a tube. Probably a tube that's used um, during photo processing or whatnot. But it actually does have a little bit of art there on it, which is nice. Um, nothing underneath. So yeah, uh, that's one hour photo. Just wanted to kind of show you uh, what what you get with that release there. Um, so if you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And uh, if you like this sort of unboxing, if you like movies, um, anime, video games, pretty much like geeky sorts of unboxings, uh, go ahead and give me a subscribe down below, and that way you'll get notified whenever I upload any new videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll check you next time.